of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Cougars. Today is Monday, September 24th. Welcome to SCTV News. I'm Juan Armas. And I'm Dylan Shaw. It is homecoming week. The football game is Friday night at 7 against Granite Hills. The dance is this Saturday from 6 until 10 in our gym. We have an assembly planned for Friday to get everyone ready. We also have four more spirit days this week. Thank you, Cougars, for getting comfy today and dressing up for your flight out. Please get dressed tomorrow for Culture Day, and we'll see you then. A few more reminders about the dance. First of all, you need an ID card to enter the gym. Also, today is the last day to turn in a guest pass to bring someone from another school. And this Wednesday is the last day to buy a ticket. The cost is now $30 with an ASB card and $35 without. ASB is also running a contest for all students. Members hit a flag around campus to go with Travel Around the World theme. Students can find them and bring them back to the ASB room to win a prize. The contest will continue all week leading up to homecoming. Hey guys, the class of 2019 has senior merch in the student store at K104. Our, the theme is going to be Hawaiian because that's our class color. So we have sweats, hoodies, long sleeves, and stickers that you can put on your hydro flask. The sizes range from small to extra large and the prices are $5 to $25. Don't forget to buy your senior merch, guys! <laughs> yeah. Steel Canyon is home to a new assistant principal. All students are encouraged to welcome Ms. Delgado to campus. I'm the new assistant principal for the senior class at Steel Canyon High School. So I have been teaching for 30 years. I am a science teacher. Uh, I love to teach oceanography, as you can tell by my office. I teach anatomy, physiology, as well, and biology. I've got my admin credential, and my first position uh, is here at Steel Canyon High School, and I'm very excited to be here. In a teaching role, you have control over just your classroom, and you can make changes in your classroom. And I'm hopeful that in an administrative role, I can make changes that will help more students to be successful in high school and set them off to a brighter future. I'm also very involved in breast cancer awareness and research, and do a lot of fundraising for that and a lot of walks. Seniors, today's the deadline to turn in your green senior diploma information card to our registrar, Ms. Vandenacker. Her office is one door past the nurse. Check in with your Block 2 teacher or counselor if you have not received or cannot find the green card. There's a lot more to our library than you might think. Violet Twilla, Ashley Taylor, and Brenda Moore found out everything that's offered in the SDHS library. Many assume the library is just a place for studying. But from 7.15 to 3.45 on most weekdays and 8.30 to 3.45 on Wednesdays, you can explore many things. What is a makerspace? Uh, a makerspace is just a place where people can come and create. My particular makerspace in the library has a 3D printer. We have Arduino, which is um, used for robotics. And I have a sewing machine and a craft space. The library is for school. Apart from being a place to study, it has many computers and a copying machine. The computers and the copy machine can be used for any purpose and are available throughout the day. I mainly come to the library because I don't have a fourth block, so I come in here and do my homework. If you don't have a second or third block, the library is the place for you. Ms. Auchenbach is looking for TAs to help students in shelf books. For SCTV News, I'm Violet Twilla. Our Cougar football team won its fourth game in a row Friday night at Mira Mesa. Here's some reaction to the game. It actually was the, the second most uh, total yardage in a game in school history. So we had a game back in like 2009 uh, that was like 582. So we jumped over that because was, it was 590. And then we had a crazy game where we, we had 600, 627 yards 
total offense. It was that was a wild football game. So you don't get to see those. It's exciting for the fans. It's frustrating for the coaches, but you know it is what it is. It was a fun game, and I, the people that got got to the game to support us, they got to see a really good football game. I think we're almost where we need to be. Uh, the passing game's coming together bit by bit. Uh, Kenneth Watson found his stride, obviously, on, on Friday night, had a heck of a ball game. I think he rushed for 230, 240 yards. Um, Nathan's come along. Uh, Chance Johnson had a good night. Wes Neely had a good night. I mean, we had, it was a, you know, we talked on the morning on Saturday about it, just being an overall team win. Like, we, we beat them on special teams, we beat them on defense, we beat them on offense. Like, we, the whole team got together and, and I think did a great job. Girls Golf has a match against Ramona at Still Canyon Golf Course today at 3. Girls Volleyball is at Grossmont Freshman and JV at 4, Varsity at 5.30. That's all the news we have for you today. Have a great week. Rara Cougars. Cougar Pride. Get, Get some. some.